I'll touch a little bit on, on the engineered systems. Uh, we talked a little bit before about why we might need an engineered system. Uh, a lot of times it's uh, it, it usually going to be one of two things. Either that you're going to have a high water table in the area. Uh, so we don't, we, we're, we don't have enough room to get that four feet of sand beneath the drain field before we hit the seasonal high uh, water table. Uh, so we can't guarantee that that water is going to be completely clean before it gets in there. Uh, the other reason would be uh, poor soil type. Uh, those are going to be the two, the two main ones. I don't want to get too, too complex. There are other variables that go into it, elevation differences, uh, the uh, distance between where the septic tank might be and where the drain field needs to be installed. Uh, if there's a very large piece of property, it could be there's some, some systems where the the drain field might be a quarter mile away from where the septic tank is and you'll have a pump chamber installed that'll push the the water all the way out there uh, but um, a lot of times it's just the, the matter that we there's not enough room in the ground to get adequate uh, drainage before we get back to the you know so that water's clean before it gets back to the water table so what will happen is we will uh, find that the uh, during the perk test there's not enough sand we know that we've got to elevate the system so maybe we do the perk test we get you know a three feet of sand and then we hit water hit, hit the high water table mark um, that means we're gonna have to elevate that system a foot higher than than we normally would uh, so that system might be coming a little bit up out of the ground so you might see uh, at your home or, or ones that you've driven by before where there's this mound. You know, it's just a perfect kind of flat on the top and then it tapers off on the sides. Uh, 